we get a lot of calls, requests, questions during the day throughout the year. How do I assemble my supers properly? Well, today I'm gonna to show you. We're gonna we're gonna build a 10 frame Langstroth hive in a in a deep um, really nothing to it. Tools that you're going to need will be some good grade uh, wood glue. This is Type Bond 2. It does very well. It's an interior exterior glue. We're going to use a rubber mallet and a small 16 ounce hammer. Uh, it doesn't take much. If you're driving nails, which I'm not going to today, I'm going to use a, a, a narrow staple but if you drive nails, this is going to be your preference as to what size hammer you get. Um, a tape measure. Your tape measure is going to be used for cross squaring the box as you as you get it built. Your finish nails or staples to make sure you stay square. A small tri square to use during the assembly process. It's used very little, but it will help you start square to finish square. Um, the inch, I believe these are inch and a quarter, narrow crown staples. These commercial supers, select grade supers, most all boxes come with a pre-drilled eighth inch hole in the ears. Okay, so they do that so that you have a starting point. You're hitting the centers of these ears. This makes sure that you're not splitting this out if you have any gap in the boxes between the ears for the finished fit. What I like to do, if, if, if you've purchased this, it may have come in a box, it may have come wrapped, it may have come loose. Um, I'm gonna lay this out and build this box the way that I do it, doesn't make it the number one right way if you find a way that's better and the end product is the same stay with it make it easy on yourself i take the handle down to the table lay it handle is up away from me down on the table we get our end. This is a much shorter side than what we just laid down. So that is the side of your box. This is the end of your box. Notice the handle and the rabbit. The rabbit is where your frames will eventually sit. This now handle down and up away from you. Line up your finger joints okay and what I like to do is I'll take the glue start a little here and then just trail it through fold this up this is where your hammer comes in your rubber mallets just a lot more forgiving than the steel hammer. All right, you've got that one set. You're ready to set the other end. Again, make mental note. Here's your rabbit. This is the top of the box. Your handles are closer to the rabbit side. Okay, we've got it. We're going to repeat the process on the left side. Glue in the pocket, glue across the fingers, walk it in, okay, now this is where it gets a little messy, but what we're wanting to do is we, we now want to glue this side for the other side of the box so we put glue down in the finger joints just like this 
this gets a, just a touch messy at this point, but it's the best way I've found. You roll your finger in the, in the glue. It comes up both sides of the joint. You put the remainder off your finger up there in the tab area. Repeat the process on the opposite side. You're getting good glue coverage. You're not wasting glue. That corner will clean that right up. Now your time to add your last side. Your handle this time is up to the world. It's exposed. Don't put it on inside the box or you'll be nailing a cleat over here. Yes, I've done it. It's one of those mistakes that they, it happens. You haven't done anything. You're a whole lot better to go with it than you are to try to tear it apart. Okay. All right. Now, your T-square comes into play. I like to put it in here. Let me get it out there where y'all can see it. Your, as you can tell, right there is relatively square. Same here. This is going to change a little because you don't have the slack pulled out of this box. That's okay. That's what we've got the clamp for. These clamps, you, you need a clamp. I think this one is a 24 inch. Uh, you, you need a clamp that is going to span the length of the super. Um, a lot of people is going to use two. I prefer to use one. Two is just too much going on. So I put the clamp closest to me up against the box, drop the clamp below the finger joints, compress it, mallet again. You'll seat that those finger joints, you might even you'll see it, it'll compress, you'll have the glue. As you can tell right here, the glue is starting to uh, come out of your joints. Go ahead and just put that somewhere, utilize it. All right, there again, we want to start square to finish square. So we're good. Now, like I said, you can do every bit of this with a hammer and nails. Don't get hung up on, I have to have a stapler. An air stapler makes this much, much faster. Um, you get a good fit, good finish, smooth, smooth paint surface when you're done. Um, you're not beating your boxes up with the hammer. This, this is my preference. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have this. I've built a ton of supers with a hammer and nails, but we're ready to nail this. As you can tell, I'm hitting the pre-drilled holes. That's letting one leg absolute go through. I move my clamp to the front half of the box. I pull that down tight. Set this flush. Go ahead and nail it. Okay. Now we're ready to flip the super. Let's go 180. Clamp back in place. Give it a good tightening. Excess glue. Grab your T-square. This one is awesome. We're in good shape. We're gonna seat this again. Put in our initial staples there. Back to the top of the box. Tight. Okay. 
snug that side into those finger points. Let's take the lid off. Now, we're at a point that we want to cross check this super for square. Okay? So we've we've glued it, we've made it tight, we've clamped it, we've tried to do the best we can to stay square on the interior. This little trick will help you down the road. You need to be, in most cases, with most of these commercial grade boxes, you're gonna be 25 and 5 eighths, and you should be 25 and 5 eighths both directions, that's called cross squaring. If you have one side this, this one has come out 25 and 5 eighths both ways. It is square. Um, if I, let's say this side, it had been 25 and 7 eighths, this side would have been shorter. So I would take this longest measurement. I would stand this box up on the corner of the square and I would put weight in the center and that will move this box your goal would be to get 3 16 of that back to the other side. We don't have to do that, which is inevitably what you want. And in most cases, we didn't do it because we stayed square as we built this super. Now, I don't know if you can see this as, as well as I can feel it. We're roughly 3 32nd bowed out at this joint due to the fact that this is a long tab this is going to want to roll up in the weather so b's got it hot on the inside it's moist on the outside it's cold this will be an area that you want to focus on i'm going to do two things i'm going to take a clamp put it back here pull this flush against this piece i'm going to put in the staple here and an extra staple up here on the tab, as I call it, because the moisture is gonna cause this to want to swell and roll away from the box. So if you just use the one pre-drilled hole from my finger to the top, this area is going to move. It's wood, it's gonna swell, it's expand, it's gonna roll off of the box and make a hole for those bees. All right, so let's fix that. We're gonna put the Grab it now to you, that little shelf that your frame sets on. We're gonna squeeze these in. They're both flush. We're gonna, this staple's going to go in to that tab. Both sides, up, up as close as we can get without splitting anything. We're gonna go ahead and hit that. Now, let's just repeat that process on the opposite side. Same, we've got the same issue. So we've got just a, a little bit out past this to be flush. We're gonna pull that in. Our glue was starting to set, but we're gonna, we're gonna make it. We're gonna catch that. Now, what happened, if you can tell, when I put this clamp on, one side of this board was prepared to go in further. So if you'll, you'll notice right here, now you're under, okay? These boxes are all pretty well dimensionally the same. Now I've released it and it's come back out flush. It's small details that's gonna make your equipment last longer save you money in the long run if you do these simple steps if if you have a differential in the box in the back go ahead and pull it in snug it up if not nail it out
turn, check, and repeat. Now you have an assembled 10 frame half body ready for paint, eco treat, whatever your choice of, of sealants are. But I'll promise you, you've just built a box that's going to hold up.